Hello and welcome to the demo for another brick. This one is going to be the MP3 brick, I believe. So it's this one here. Um, and this is a nice and easy brick to use, and it you know works pretty much like all the same if you haven't got the gist by now. Um, so you just have to go and find an MP3 file, and um, I'm not sure if I've got one. So let's go and have a look at. Um, the frog training, I'm sure they'll have MP3s in there. Um, and resources, media, MP3. So we've got any of these. Which one should we have? Macbeth. I'm going to see King Lear tomorrow night, so let's have Macbeth now. Um, click on OK. No tags. Click on OK. And quite simply, um, it presents a little. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's when she, we three meet again. When the hurly burly's done. Um, anyway, so you might want to do that. You might want to put some music in there um, that you want to play during class time or to let children listen to. Maybe stuff that's relevant to your subject um, or not. Um, just sort of chill out music to give them something to do whilst they're working or whatever. Um, it might be a conversation that you've recorded. You record stuff on an iPhone and email it. Um, uh, uh, little conversations that you have or, or on video cameras and things like that and just use the, um, video, the audio as mp3 files so that's how you use that and you can um, once you've done that you can um, present you can put them anywhere you like um, but they only ever display in that kind of way so this is the sort of thing that you might use for example with um, the label brick that we looked at um, in another tutorial you can drag the mp3 file into the label and then just put a little label across the top and it says um, Macbeth or whatever. So you get the idea. Um, and then that will preview a little box around it like that. Meet again. Okay, uh, that's it. MP3.